I uh, actually uh, uh, there is no need for that I think in this part but anyway anyway if you want you can do that transfer function model equation create indicator equation yep this equation appears here I change the name here hydraulic servo aircraft okay okay uh, what else I need first of all I need the uh, root locus I go to dynamic dynamic what dynamic characteristics I go there I insert CD root locus you know that for root locus actually root locus uh, is in um, uh, how to say actually root locus is used to pred uh, predict the behavior of the closed loop system actually to analyze the stability of the closed loop system but in order to draw a root locus you need the open loop transfer function so I need to actually to have a wire from here to the status space model I connected okay. and I go there and I create indicator on top there we have our root locus I want to also have the graph palette I also need something here yeah. Okay, what else I need? I need one other thing. I need a step response. Step response, we have to go to time response. And this is CD step response. I put it here. CD status with model, model and step response graph create indicator here I also have my step response okay everything seems fine mm, yeah okay now I need just uh, some input for this CD draw trans if I uh, for let me give you the correct name of this CD construct transfer function I need input uh, inputs for this these VIs okay I go to numerator I, I have to define the uh, numerator create control numerator I have it here I, ha I need to uh, define also the denominator I have the denominator there okay I better put a label here hydraulic servo And okay, hydraulic servo.
aircraft. Put the step response somewhere here so I can hold the. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot pack all these items in a. If I go to full screen. I don't know. Uh. Look into it in full screen when we are running the program. Okay, now we have to insert the... Uh, okay, let's run the program. 